I know I've asked you this before. Do you have butt pain all day long? Or did it sneak up on you randomly and bite you in the asset? Did you ignore the pain and hope that it would magically disappear? But after three months, it's still there. You may have chronic butt pain known as levator anine syndrome. Today I'll explain what it is and how you can overcome it. I'm Nurse Wong and this is Butt Talks. Levator A9 syndrome is just a fancy word for chronic tight butt muscles. It can happen to anyone, both young and old. Levator A9 is a group of muscles at your tailbone, shaped like a triangle that meets at your anal opening. These muscles hold up the vital organs for your pelvic floor, the rectum, the bladder, and if you're a female, the vagina. Think of your pelvic floor as a basket of muscles. When these muscles get tight, it hurts on the side, the back, and the front of the anus. Symptoms include persistent pain, tightness, and pressure, noticeable on the left side of the anal opening that can last for three months or longer. Typically, you have more pain when you're sitting, but you can lessen the pain when you stand, lie down, or move around. If the pain is left untreated, it could spread to your pelvis and affect your bladder function. This could cause you to urinate incompletely, requiring you to take multiple bathroom trips. Besides having trouble relaxing to pee or poop, you could even have pain during or before or after vaginal or rectal intercourse. Since the cause of this pain is a mystery, I'll be a detective and tell you some of the possible reasons and solution for this chronic butt pain. Number one, improper pooping behavior. A poop a day keeps the doctor away. Yet why isn't there an instruction manual on how to poop? Many of us push or strain too long when pooping. Others sit too long while distracted on their phones. Maybe you have the urge to pee or poop, but you're withholding it so long that when it comes time to pee and poop, it's difficult to relax. These are all recipes for levator A9 syndrome, also known as chronic butt pain. Watch your video on how to poop properly to learn more. Number two, lack of movement. Sitting for long periods without moving can lead to very tight butt muscles. Like the old saying goes, if you don't use them, you lose them, meaning that your muscles become weaker and less flexible. The best strategy is to get up and move. It doesn't mean that you gotta run a marathon every day. Instead, take stretch breaks for five to 15 minutes every hour. Try stretches like the cobra, hamstring stretches, and touching your toes. With all exercise, start out slow. If you feel pain, stop, and then work your way back up. Number three, stress. Many of you with chronic butt pain have stress and anxiety, which can contribute to tight butt muscles. Possible causes of stress can come from not getting enough sleep, little or no exercise, or poor stress management habits. Stress can manifest itself as physical pain in other areas of your body, such as your body. Sits baths are one of the best ways to relax your butt muscles. Soaking your sore butt in a warm water sits pan or tub bath for 10 to 15 minutes twice a day is an excellent way to let your mind and muscles relax. Your butt will thank you. Some other great ways to manage your stress are taking a walk in the park or on the beach, practicing deep breathing techniques for relaxation. Watch your video on alternative nostril breathing for stress relief to learn more, or even listening to some calming music. Number four prior anal rectal surgery or trauma. Chronic butt pain can arise from prior anal surgery such as a hemorrhoidectomy, trauma such as anal abscess or tears, or residual pain from radiation treatment for anal or rectal cancer. The best way to treat this pain is put your buddy in a sits bath and talk to your medical provider about certain medications that can be helpful in relieving your butt pain. Another great treatment is biofeedback, a therapy technique done through visual and audio feedback that can increase your butt to brain connectivity. Biofeedback has been found to be 65% effective 
for chronic butt pain relief. Other pelvic floor problems can also be treated through biofeedback. Talk to your medical provider to be referred to a pelvic floor specialist for more help. Number five, poor dietary habits. Not drinking enough water throughout the day or eating unhealthy foods such as processed foods can lead to hard stools that are difficult and painful to pass, all which can contribute to your butt pain. Watch your video on dietary changes to poop better and how to eat more fiber to poop better to learn more. Bonus tip, butt massages. After warming up and relaxing your butt muscles through your nice and warm bath, you could put a little bit of natural oil and massage the area where your buddy hurts. Another option is to sit or lie down on tennis or lacrosse balls and then firmly roll over them with your inner and outer butt cheeks. Go slow, it could be a little painful, a little at a time. Give yourself a break if your buddy feels sore, go in another direction. Rome was not built in a day. Rectal massages from a trained professional can also be helpful. I'll be honest with you, digital massages of the puborectalis muscle involves having a finger up your yin-yang. Yes, it will always be painful. But the trade-off is that it can provide relief along with the other treatments that I've mentioned. I hope I've taken the mystery out of the chronic butt pain syndrome. If this video has helped you, even a little, like and subscribe. This helps our channel grow and your butt will thank you. If you like our video, press the like button below. Comment on what you want to learn more about next. For more tips and tricks from Butt Talks, subscribe to our channel. Have a great poop day!